guys, it's Izzy here and today I'm going to be showing you all my October TBR. So all the books that I want to read in October. I did write a blog post about this so if you guys would rather read than listen, that will be linked down below in the pinned comment. It would be really awesome if you could give my blog post a like on WordPress. <laughs> so yeah, so let's get into this video. I did read The Book Thief this month, but that was a carryover from last month, so you will not be getting a book review of that, or will it be getting a summary in this video. So if you did not know, all the books I show my TBR videos, I do write Goodreads reviews for, and in my wrap-up, they'll all be linked down below, and there will be blog posts my blog. It's always linked down below in the description box of all my videos. So the first book is my month-long read, and that is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban by J.K. Rowling. This is my favorite Harry Potter book, and I am annotating, but I am not reviewing this because one, it's the third book in a series, and two, I'm just annotating this for my own enjoyment while the others are because I'm writing reviews on them, but I'm using this snake. Um, magnet bookmark for this one so that's really cool so my how i um annotate the top is for the popular quotes um that people highlight on kindle and then inside is just things that i'm annotating myself our next book is the book that i'm currently reading and i'm currently reading this as well as y'all saw i am on chapter four and page 49. So our next book is one that I started yesterday. I'm probably not going to read today because I did get to my reading goal of 50 books so I don't feel this pressure and I can read whenever I feel like it and the day I am filming two videos so it's just not a lot of time. So uh, this is Wicked Saints Let Them Fear Her by Emily A. Duncan. So this is a Slavic inspired fantasy novel and it is as you can see it has blood on it and it does use a lot of blood magic and the first five percent of the book is when you first get that so there is a trigger warning for self-harm i know that is a big trigger warning for people so i just wanted to let y'all know before you pick up this book because as i said it's in the first five percent and i've read 20 percent so there are three people whose paths have to cross we have nadia is my guess on how to pronounce her name who is kind of like a seer so you can talk to the gods, the gods can talk to her kind of thing. Then we have the prince who obviously he is a prince and he is supposed to find her, find, I think it's a cleric is how you say it, and that is just somebody who can um, communicate with the gods. He's supposed to find her, kill her because they're trying to like eradicate this religion. There's been a war that has been going on for hundred, like a hundred years, it's uh, multiple generations. And then our third one is a monster hidden behind pale tortured eyes and a smell that cuts like an axe. I already have my theory of who I think the monster is. So their three paths have to cross and they have to take down the king to kill, no, duh, to, they had to take and kill the king and then that will end this holy war. Is it a holy war or am I a singing Megadeth? I'm pretty sure it's a holy war. <laughs> That's what Wicked Saints is about. Now I had the book of the month edition and I only see the guy on the side because like, I, I don't know if it's the guy or the girl, but they look like Rod Stewart. But this is such a beautiful copy, but I kind of wish that I would have got like another one because I feel like there are better editions since this doesn't have, uh, like some just have better things inside. This does have a map though, and I have been frequently using the map. So you can be expecting a review of this. I've really been liking it because I've really been wanting to get back into a high fantasy novel. So I'm glad that I'm finally getting there. So I don't know if I should read this book next or read it or read the other one because I don't know if I should read two fantasy novels back to back. So let me know down below in the comments that these books are very similar or anything like that if you've read either of them. And the one I am speaking of is the Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson, and this is book one in the Rubnet Chronicles. So we have Princess, it, see I think it looks like Leah, but I've heard people say Leia. I don't know. 
So she is the firstborn and her whole life has practically been like set up for her of what she's supposed to do and obviously being the firstborn she has to be put into a well-off marriage with a prince or a nobleman from a neighboring country just to form an alliance and kind of end any feuds that may be going on there and she has never met the man she's supposed to marry she does not want to marry him so on the eve of her wedding she runs away to a village and basically starts a new life there with a different identity and everything but then two strangers appear one day in her life. One is the prince that she is supposed to marry and the other is an assassin that's supposed to kill her. So, so they're both very handsome. Who will she fall in love with? When one is the man she's supposed to marry and one's supposed to kill her. Who knows? So our next one is one that I asked you guys to help me choose because I did want a spooky or kind of dark book for October since it is like Halloween and everything and all the votes I got, literally every single vote, was for Sadie by Courtney Summers. So Sadie has had a rough life. She raised her sister Maddie all on her own and one day Maddie is found dead. So the police investigation was just very faulty and all and Sadie doesn't think it went down as it should. So she is trying to um, bring justice to the case and um, find the killer and seek revenge. So then we have West and he is just in a gas station one day and here's like on the radio or something um, people talking about the case of this girl who is missing and so he is a radio person and he starts a podcast all about finding Maddie and just bringing um, awareness to this case and he wants to find her before she's found dead, I guess. And so he's very fascinated by this case. So this book is told in a podcast format in some chapters and not in others. So I am going to be doing the audiobook for this just because I've been recommended to do the audiobook and I think that'll be very cool for the podcast element of this book. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and as always, comment, rate, and subscribe and tell me down below in the comments which books you are going to be reading in October. Bye guys!